Charlotte and I'm Katie and we are here at the gorgeous location of Mulberry House and Old Walls and tonight we have planned an ultimate Christmas party. Yes! Yeah. So we uh, have been sponsored today by the Bacon Specialist. They have given us pretty much all our meats for today. Yeah, well they've given us this beautiful gammon <gasps> for that. That is huge. And they, they're from Swansea, which is lovely. Yeah. We're in Swansea today and you know me, I love local. my Welsh produce, I love my local produce, so this is a beautiful gammon. And we are, I'm going to show you mm -hmm. how to get this cooked perfectly, uh, turn into a beautiful ham, uh, which will actually last week beyond Christmas as well. Right, so should we make a start? Yeah, let's one? begin. It's heavy, it is heavy. Oh yeah, it's heavy. Well, yeah. it was given to me yesterday, I, I, yeah, I struggled a little bit. It is bit. heavy, but it's a beautiful uh, gammon. So what I've done, I've done the initial boil, simmer mm -hmm. for 30 minutes, and then I've drained off that. Yeah. And we're gonna fill it back up now with all our flavor, ready to, for the long, yeah, slow cool. simmer. Let's okay, go. so I'm gonna give you an apple, Charlotte. Okay. And then I'll get on with doing this. Yeah, so I'm gonna add some apple grey cider that yeah. was kind of given during the Neath Food Festival, actually. Okay. And it's called Trieger, and this one's a really lovely cider. Right. Because it's grown by um, a really old Welsh apple tree. So you only right. I've never tried apple. it before, so. Do you want to try a little bit before we put it in? Yes. Well, share a glass? Well, that'll yeah, have to do. Yeah, we'll do. I would have sweeted it from the bottle, so clearly. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's really nice. It's quite distinct, isn't it, flavour? Really different. Mm. I've never tasted anything like that before. But it's going to be absolutely lovely. Oh, I can imagine it with gamma. that, yeah. yeah. It's got the same taste, I'll be on it, lovely. So we're going to put all of that in. So okay. water. Water some here water. for you. So we'll put that in a minute. So okay. I'm just going to get some lovely herbs here. Yeah. I'm going to get a variety, I'm going to put in a nice rosemary sprig. You have a nice herb set over here. Oh yes, I love You have everything. Herbs. I do love I'm really herbs. I love, yeah. Especially this time of year, you can put herbs make everything just a bit better, don't they? It's fab. I'm going to put in some uh, thyme. So it's thyme and this is sage, sage. rosemary. rosemary. And I'm going to put in some uh, parsley as well. Nice. But you can put in whatever you've got in the house. So it's okay. not... It's not restrictive, but yeah. the more herbs you've got, the better. I wouldn't put anything like mint or basil, because mm -hmm. that's not yeah. going to go with what we're making. And you're covering all of that, aren't you? So I'm going to cover it up. And then what we'll do, because this pot is slightly too small, really, for the size of the gammon that we were given, <laughs> um, we will, I will turn this every hour so right, that it's okay. fully cooked. And then it'll cook for about now, um, mm -hmm. three hours, three and a half hours, something like that. Okay. And then we're going to get it out, and then yeah. we're going to roast it. Right, I'm going to pop this back on the stove. Okay. Off we go. Do, do, do. So now oh we need to get it ready my. to go in the oven so that we can finish it with a nice okay. um, roasted top. So we're going to take this off. This is again another tricky thing because we we need to work with it while it's hot. Yeah. Uh, Beautiful. So we're going to score it now. Okay. So basically we're going to... So what does this score. do when you do this? Um, well, it, it'll crisp up easier because mm -hmm. it'll crisp up on all the edges. And we're going to put um, cloves in. Do you know the really old fashioned way of doing it? Yeah. And this is how I do mine every year. Okay. Uh, I never do anything different. <laughs> I don't cook them in coal, cola bottle, cola or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Ginger beer. Nope. This is the way I make mine. So we're going to put the cloves in first so we can see what we're doing. Okay. So just pop them through. In all the um, diamonds. Okay. And it looks really pretty. I was going to say, this is going to look really special. Yeah, this. yeah. This is looking really sort of fancy, isn't it? It's, it's a looking bit fab. special. Yeah. Christmassy. Yeah, one or two more. So what we're going to be doing next is basically tipping over some sugar. So can you see it's already starting to go sort yeah, of gooey? Gooey colour, yeah, and goes. That's going to look great. I'm just going to make sure all the fat is covered with the sugar. Okay. Don't leave any of that uncovered. Okay, and then when it's in the oven, we're going to roast it now for about 30 minutes in the yeah. oven. Uh, and then we're going to baste it every 10 minutes. Just a little base because it does tend to dry out on these edges because okay. obviously they're exposed. Yeah. Um, and it, and it, oh, I can't wait to this after. It's 
gonna be so good. Me too.